And so I, I say to my, my fellow leaders, uh, if you stood and applauded her then, you cannot now sit on your hands as the world asks you to act, because the world knows what a mess our planet is in. The world has heard leaders from every country, continent, stand here and acknowledge the need for action. And the world will find it absolutely incomprehensible if we fail to deliver that. And the backlash from people will be immense and it will be long lasting. And frankly, we will deserve their criticism and their opprobrium because we know what needs to be done and we all agree what needs to be done. We just need the courage actually to get on and do it. So now is the time for everyone to come together and show the determination needed to power on through the blockages, to look at the science with dispassionate eyes and think about how we can compromise, how we can be flexible to meet the needs of the planet. And uh, for world leaders who, who are now back in their capitals, to pick up the phone to their teams here and give them the negotiating margin, give them the space they need in which to maneuver and get this done. Here in Glasgow, the world is closer than it has ever been to signaling the beginning of the end of anthropogenic climate change. And it's the greatest gift we can possibly bestow on our children and our grandchildren and generations unborn. And it's now within reach at COP26 in these final days. We just need to reach out together and grasp it. And so my question to my fellow world leaders this afternoon as we enter the last hours of COP is will you help us do that? Will you help us grasp that opportunity or will you stand in the way?